Hey YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you my collection of Blu-rays, 4Ks of the year 1988. If you've been keeping up with the channel, I've been doing collection videos of the 80s throughout the years, uh, you know, from 1980, 1981, all the way to 87. So I'm doing 1988 now. If you guys missed out on the other ones, uh, go be free check them out um, so yeah uh, without further ado let's uh, go into 1988 I do have quite a bit also I didn't think I had that many from 1988 so uh, so yeah let's uh, let's jump right to it all right so uh, yeah we're gonna start off uh, with American Gothic um, I did put them in alphabetical order so yeah American Gothic uh, this is a uh, from Screen Factory this is a great slasher uh, I enjoyed it, you know, basically it's about these uh, group of uh, young adults going uh, on a, they fly out to an island, but I think they, something went wrong with the, with the, with the plane or whatever it was, so they're like stranded in this island and they see this, uh, this house and they meet these elderly married couple, but, uh, and they're so-called kids, but they're not really kids. Um, so yeah, they're, they're it's a very psychotic family, and they go through a lot with this. Yeah, very psychotic. It, it's a it's a fun one. It's a it's a great one. I, I enjoyed it. So yeah, American Gothic. So next up, we got um, this is a double feature, but uh, Bad Dreams is the one that came out in nineteen eighty eight. So yeah, this is kind of like a Nightmare on Elm Street type of film. Um, I haven't seen it in a long time, but uh, looking forward to rewatching it. I actually recently got this um, double feature during their Shocktober sale. So um, yeah, looking forward to watching both of them. But yeah, Bad Dreams is uh, the one that was released in 1988. All right, next up we got uh, The Blob. This is actually a remake of the 1950s. Which uh, it's uh, the nineteen the original Criterion has a release on the original. Screen Factory did a nice slipcover artwork there, and this is probably one of my favorite remakes. Uh, I love this one. Uh, the practical effects were good. It's so much fun. The Blob is a great one. If you guys haven't seen it, you know you need to check it out. But yeah, the Blob. Uh, they recently came out with a four K, but you know I didn't up I didn't upgrade. I'm happy with this. All right, next up we got um, by Arrow Video, uh, Brain Damage. Don't know too much about this one. I got it during a sale as well uh, that they had. So, yeah, looking forward to watching this one, Brain Damage. And I'm going to go buy them really quick. I'm not going to really, you know, uh, talk about each one, spend my time because, you know, I don't want the video to drag, so I'm going to just try to... Uh, another one is Seller Dweller. This one came from the the Enter the Video Store box set. Uh, Screen Factory had a, had this one as well with a uh, in a double feature, but it's out of print. So look, so glad that I that Arrow ended up uh, putting it on this box set. Uh, so yeah, Cellar Dweller. Next up, we got Child's Play. It's a 4K release by Screen Factory, which I still haven't seen the 4K yet. So I heard the transport's really good. I heard some good things about the picture quality and the sound. And yeah, Screen Factory is really good. I mean, they, they you know, their Blu-rays or 4Ks are really, really great. So looking forward to watching this one on 4K for the first time. But it's a classic movie. Love Child's Play. Love it. Next up, we got Dead Heat. This is by Vinegar Syndrome. It's like a comedy, comedy horror. Uh, yeah, this, I haven't seen this one in years, in a long time. Uh, and I still haven't seen this 4K either, but, uh, yeah, there's the back of it. <laughs> yeah, it's a comedy horror. It's fun. Uh, next up we got Dream Demon from Arrow Video. There's the, the original artwork. Next up we got Edge of the Axe. Underrated slasher, if you ask me. I, I enjoyed this one. The kills are brutal. The kills are very very good movie there's like a twist in the end so if you guys haven't seen it uh i highly recommend you edge of the act especially if you're into the slashers very good 
Uh, next up, we got um, Enviro, Mistress of the Dark. Very nostalgic. Uh, I love this film. Comedy, you know, and what can you say? Enviro, she's great. <laughs> yeah, great film. I love it. Next up, we got Friday the 13th, Part 7, A New Blood. This is a little different than most of the Friday the 13th movies. As Jason goes head to head with this girl who has like these powers, kind of like Carrie, you know, if you're familiar with the movie Carrie. So it's kind of like a Jason versus Carrie. I still enjoyed it. I, I still thought it was decent. I still thought it was pretty good. The kills weren't really that great, but uh, it's still enjoyable. Uh, but yeah, it's not your average like previous Friday the 13th movies. So yeah, it's not my, it's not the best at all. So yeah. So next up we got uh by Grandmother's House. This is a Vinegar Syndrome release. Uh I still haven't seen this one. Um I heard some pretty good things about it, so looking forward to watching it. Uh yeah, Grandmother's House. Uh next up we got Halloween four, the return of Michael Myers. This is a Screen Factory release. Uh yeah, this is uh a good one. I, I enjoyed this one. I, I really did. Uh, there's a special features in the back. Um, yeah, this is where um, they introduced um, Lori's daughter. You know, uh, it's like a different different timeline. So, so yeah, this is a it's a good one. I, I like Halloween Four. All right, next up we got um, Hellraiser Two, Hellbound Hellraiser Two. I love the sequel. I really did. I, I enjoyed the sequel. Uh, you know, after part two, after part three, it started going downhill for me. So this one was still good. Part three was passable, but that that was it. You know, uh, so yeah, this is a really good one. Next up, we got Hide and Go Shriek, another underrated slasher. Um, it's about these young adults, young, you know, uh, they... Decided to uh, spend the night like in a furniture store or a department store and you know, it's really dark So they have to keep the light, you know, the lights off and so it's kind of dark and the killer is like You know, he's he's pretty good, you know, when he kills You know when he kills uh, somebody he dresses up like them. So they you know, he changes his uh, You know clothes and he wears uh, the victim's clothes after he kills them uh yeah, yeah, it's a good one. I didn't go shriek. All right, next up we got uh, the Killer Clowns from Outer Space. This is a by Arrow, which is now out of print. Um, and there's the the original artwork that I remember. This one is a lot of fun, uh, a lot of fun. It's a comedy horror. Uh, it's a blast. I really enjoyed this film. Uh, I might watch it tonight during my thirty one days of horror. Um, but I'm debating. I don't know if this one or maybe Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. I don't know. But we'll see. But love this one. I haven't seen it in, in a long time. So, All right. Next up, we got uh, The Layer of the White Worm. I've heard of it. I've seen maybe bits and pieces of it, but uh, never seen it completely or entirely. I got this on a sale when they had um, Best Drawn, I think, at uh, Diabolic DVD. They had a sale uh, sometime back with all the Vestron titles, and they all mostly came with slipcovers. So I was like, yes. So yeah, looking forward to watching that one. Next up, we got Mania Cop. Another good one with uh, Tom Adkins, Bruce Campbell. Yeah, this is... Uh, uh, actually, this is uh, uh, released in the UK by Arrow. Arrow in the UK. You can see the that... The logo there is all from the UK. There's the alternate artwork. The custom artwork that... Uh, yeah, I think Synapse Films has the American release. But, you know, I decided to go with this one. Because, um, you know, I think Arrow is... To me, Arrow does better picture quality than Synapse. I mean, Synapse is pretty good. But uh, this one had the the original artwork as well. So I had to go with this. All right, moving on, we got uh, Memorial Valley Massacre, another underrated slasher. This is by Vinegar Syndrome. Yeah, it's a, it's a good one. Um, it does have alternate artwork as well. Just, yeah. So yeah, this is a, 
very underrated. It doesn't really get mentioned. I don't know why. I enjoyed it. Next up, we got the NASA feature creature film with roaches. <laughs> if you are scared of roaches, I don't recommend you this film. I thought it was pretty, pretty good. Pretty, um, kind of gross, but I, I, it's still good, man. I still enjoyed it. So yeah, the nest. Uh, next up, we got Night of the Demons. Love this one. Comedy horror at its finest, at its best. Oh yeah, this is the original one. And I Screen Factory did a released a, a 4K of it, but I didn't upgrade. I thought it, this one still looks good, sounds good, so I'm happy with this one. Kind of missed on the slipcover, but that's okay. All right, next up we got uh, from the Nightmare on Elm Street uh, collection, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 4 is the one that came on 88. I wish they could do a better uh, set, and it's... Uh, the Dream Master, I believe, Nightmare on Elm Street 4, Dream Master. It, it was okay. It wasn't bad. It was all right. <clears throat> Next up, Phantasm 2. I enjoyed this one. Um, I actually watched it a couple of weeks ago during my 31 Days of Halloween, and I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed this, uh, this sequel. The Tall Man never gets mentioned. Should get mentioned more when you talk about, uh, you know, horror villains or characters yeah the tall man should get credit because he's he's creepy he's he's great all right next up we got uh pumpkin head this is a scream factory i know they another one that they recently put out on 4k but i'm okay with this it does come with alternate artwork there's the alternate artwork um i don't know about that artwork i it's okay but I know I think that's the original one and I probably should change it because I always have the original artwork. But I don't know, I love this one. I love this artwork. So yeah, Pumpkinhead. Alright, next up we got Return of the Living Dead Part 2. This is another uh, horror comedy, zombies. I love this film. Both the original and this one are great. They're must own. Um, I don't know if this one is still in print. It might be out of print, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, it's a good one. I love it. Very nostalgic. All right, next up, we got Rush Week by Vinegar Syndrome. This is a, a slasher. A little slow pace, but I still enjoyed it. I still liked it. Um, yeah, the killer looks great. The, you can see a shot right there, right here. Yeah, he, he's, uh, yeah, it's a good one. I, I liked it. It picks up within the second half of the film. I think it picks up a little bit. The kills are not that graphic, um, but it's still enjoyable. I liked it. If you like slashers, give it a shot. All right, next up we got Serpent in the Rainbow. Uh, Wes Craven, what can you say? Bill Pullman stars in it. Uh, this is just, this is such a, a great film. Um, very, you know, creepy, very, I don't know, I love it. This is a great one. It's time for a rewatch. I haven't seen it in a long time. Serpent in the Rainbow. All right, next up we got uh, by Arrow Video Slugs. Um, I don't know too much about this one. I don't think I've seen it, or maybe I have. But yeah, I, I don't think. You know, let me show you the inside artwork. The right there, kind of, kind of cool. But this is what I remember. You know, uh, I do remember this artwork, but. I just don't know if I saw the movie or not. Maybe I did. I just can't remember. Yeah, Slugs. And last but not least, we got Waxwork. It comes with both. Um, but the original one came out in 1988. What I like about this uh, this packaging from Bestron Video Collector Series is that you can have uh, the original artwork from uh, the original movie. Or you can... You know, uh, there's also the artwork of part two. So you can switch it around. And they both come in their own disc. So you got the original and you got part two. But yeah, the original did come out in 1988. So it kind of reminds me of um, House, of, House of Wax or uh, Tourist, Tourist Trap. Kind of like that in that vibe. So yeah, Waxwork. It's a lot of fun. 
That's a good one. So that was it. Those were my stuff for 1988, guys. So there you have it, guys. Those were my, my uh, collection of horrors from the year 1988. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all were sticking around until the very end. Um, I really am enjoying using doing these videos. So I got one more, 1989. Hopefully I'll get that done by this week. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching and hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe, stay healthy, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more upcoming videos, and I'm out. Stay.